thanks for coming back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a it's going to be a um, foundation routine and what I do to my skin. So as you can tell, my eye makeup is already on, and I did already do my makeup this morning, but I just got rid of all of the makeup that was on my my skin, and I'm going to be talking about the products that I really like and the brushes that I use um to you and I'll do like little mini reviews of each product because I find that to be very helpful when I'm shopping for certain products um okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my nor normal routine uh the first thing I do um in all of my makeup is I use eyeshadow eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow cream pieces or something along that line but usually it's primer these are the two primers that I use, and this one is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is a love of mine. I use this all the time. I really like it. Then this is the Too Shadow, Too, <laughs> Too Shadow, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, eye Anti Crease Eyeshadow Primer, and I love them both. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I just wanted to point that out. So the main thing. I start with is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Now, in this case, today, I don't have many blemishes, but I do have some redness in areas, and this really covers it, and it really um, does a good job blending out and covering certain things. I do have one up there, which gets covered by the end of my foundation routine, so that's nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and swipe some on, some there, because I have some blemishes there. Uh, around the nose is especially important because I do have like um breakouts there and I have one annoying one right above my lip which you can't really tell so I just go like that and especially on the chin I'll just kind of place it where I think I need it and now for blending to do is brighten my under eye area. I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot and this has vitamin C in it so that's really healthy to use. Um, and I really like this stuff. It's so so smooth and cooling on your um, skin and it's so easy to blend out. It's so smooth. So I just do the little triangle trick under my eyes and a little on my nose, and my chin, Cupid's bow. And above my eyebrows just a little bit then I blend that out so the like foundation that I'm going to be using is actually a BB cream but I didn't really know what to call this video other than a foundation routine because it basically is a foundation. It works so amazing. This is the Garnier BB Cream um, Skin Renew Miracle Skin Prote Perfector in light medium. And it really emphasizes um, sunscreen and things like that. So if you're on the paler side and you often get burned, this stuff will work. Because in the uses part, actually it's purpose. It actually says purpose sunscreen and the uses say that it helps prevent sunburn so that's pretty cool and it but for sunscreen use it does say to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure and you're supposed to reapply every two hours so I think that's saying that it's it could be used as just a um, sunscreen or you could be using it as a regular makeup thing I use it as a regular makeup thing like a BB cream like a foundation it does come with 2.5 ounces of pro product which is a huge this is like a huge tube um, I love this stuff I this is my second tube of it the only thing I really don't like is that it doesn't have a pump so you never know really when you're done with it which is kind of annoying but Oh well, I use it anyway. So yeah, you're just gonna put some on your hand, like so. And I take the 
um, flat kabuki brush from Sigma and I just dab my brush into it and go to town on my face. foundation slash BB cream on my face and as you can see it is a very like dewy shiny foundation slash BB cream so I definitely use a powder for this um and I have two favorites with this uh, foundation I have the stay matte from Rimmel which this is like my third day using it and the nearly naked which this is my second container of this one let me tell you some things about both of these products this one is in the shade light pale i mean light and it's actually like kind of dark for me which is odd and it looks very like heavy on my face but it definitely mattifies your face which is what i like about it but i don't like the whole heavy thing and that's what i noticed like the second time around using it so i went to the drugstore and i picked up this Rimmel stay matte um long lasting pressed powder um, and I really, 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 really like this stuff. Completely mattifies you. I have the shade Creamy Beige 018. And it completely mattifies you. It is so light on the face. And it looks really, really natural. And it keeps you matte all day. I really like this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And I apply it with my Real Technique Stippling Brush. And... Sometimes I swirl it around in circles, but most of the time I just like dab it and stipple it into my face because I feel that gives off the um, most natural um, makeup look. So that's really nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and stipple this in. Yeah, loving this, and that's pretty much my foundation routine. Um, I love all of the products that I used. I'm just gonna finish applying my makeup. I'm gonna put um, blush on, and then we'll talk at the end of the video. That is the final foundation routine. And if you want to see a tutorial on this, it will be coming probably sometime next week. I'm not sure when, but yeah, there will be another video uploading soon. So watch out for that. And if you like what you see, give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel. I really like having new people on my channel. And yeah, let me know if you have any recommendations for videos down below. Please, 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 please. It really helps me out. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.